a very good afternoon to all the guys and assalamu alaikum continuing with the <coughs> lecture number four of data sciences using anaconda python and pandas right so what have we learned so far so far we have been able to draw the heat map right wherein we were checking all the null values right so what we found at the end of the day after doing analysis of titanic data set uh, right and uh, and drawing uh, all the plots and visualizing uh, every single thing uh, right like we have visualized here a number of survived and number of not survived right we can clearly see that females are uh, you know survived more than males and males are dying more than females uh, this is all data visualization i would like to give you another example of data visualizations here if i go to covid19 india.org and you will see that everything today is based on data analysis and data analytics collecting the data and analyzing the data right this is a clear example and you can see this uh, visualization you can see the visualization right here that it all started here in India and now you can see it's tremendously going up now it's going up for 1440 detected so far and today 93 and what about Jammu and Kashmir mm, Jammu and Kashmir today has six uh, detected cases from unknown places Srinagar has 17 Shopian and every single thing right here and if you go and check uh, the data visualization as per the area Ladakh has 13 confirmed 55 from Jammu and Kashmir mm, uh, right and Punjab has 14 and you can see Maharashtra is red uh, you know um, marked as red because it has as many cases and you can see the data visualization we all started uh, you know on 31st of January had one case and till you can see March 1 and March 1 we had three cases that means we are at the end of March today and uh, this means that uh, when we started uh, in the month of March, we had only three cases positive, right? Mm, uh, you know, now as we progress along the line, we can see the rise in the line. So this is the data visualization line. So what do you want? You want this line to come down back to uh, zero, right? And now you can see today, uh, 1347, and now it's, it's rising right so these are all uh, data visualization techniques you can see cumulative and you can see daily you can see right here the daily progress from march and uh, now we can see uh, that 200 110 143 right and if we go to march 29 we had 208 cases since march 29 and this is the line of recovered patient and the line of deceased patients so these on the base of uh, on, on daily basis and we can change the uniformity now you can see this right here you can see that the rise is happening like this you can see the rise is going down but it's actually rising right we call this as uh, you know this, this is rise basically you know and in scientific term we call this as exponential growth you know what's exponential growth exponential growth can be defined as we have one then we have two then we have four then we have uh, six th sorry then we have eight then we have 16 then we have 32 then we have 64 right and then we have uh, 128 and 256 5 12 and carry on <coughs> sorry so, so this is this is what the exponential growth means so this is what is happening as long as the covid cases in india are concerned so it's going to be an exponential growth and you can see the difference between uh, in march 29 uh, you can see we started with 150 110 and you can see and now we have uh, march 30th was uh, 208 right and plus 98 cases and if you go to cumulative and you can see the collective approach of india 
uh, and today it's plus 208, 1347 are total detected cases and total deceased are 27, mm, right? And this is all uh, about data. You collect data. What you can do, you can download the data file here also and do analysis and do this on your own. You don't require any other source. But yeah, at times we, we are not at the luxury of getting, uh, you know, fine and clean data sets every time we want them, right? So we're not at that luxury always what we need to do is understand that at times we'll have to apply many different techniques mathematical techniques to just make that data set ready for uh, you know analysis and all the machine learning techniques for example if i tell you about this we cannot apply uh, regression analysis here we cannot apply the machine learning technique uh, linear regression or logistic regression here to predict anything what is machine learning it's just prediction we have two sort of learning we have two type of learning so one is uh, you know the approach wherein we train the model right and the second approach the machine uh, without even training learns uh, you know itself right so we call that as supervised learning in machine learning and the second is called as unsupervised learning and we still have deep learning wherein we go deep into the data set to analyze image and every single thing but yeah for that also you need your data to be up to the mark you need your data to ready to be ready because you don't want to predict uh, false positives and or all you know uh, anything like that so for that we have to prepare the data set and to prepare the data set we have to get rid of null values or we have to apply any other technique to get rid of uh, these nan values so they, they basically hinder and bother uh, the performance and they decrease thus you know uh, success rate or we can say percentage rate when we do prediction so this this data set is not yet ready for uh, ready for machine learning so let's see what we can do so if I get df info let us check the information available in the data frame <laughs> okay we have a p class all non null non null or uh, not null uh, embarked has two null values um, and we have uh, you know others are having many null values but it doesn't matter because we do data analysis on integer values right we cannot do it as that of string value so can we do analysis of survived yes can we do analysis of siblings yes park yes fair we can do embarked is basically uh, you know capital s right so if you can see this right here let me compile it once again for you because just uh, i have just started with this so recompilation is very essential right uh, or we can say re-executing it so that we get the results now you can see many null values are here and if I go for df.info now we can see a uh, home.dest has 745 null values too much body has 121 non-null values that means remaining are nulls non-null we have uh, 121 the total number of rows are 1309 so cabin is completely disturbed Mm, and age is also disturbed you can say 1046 non-null value so almost 300 values are null mm, and we have to do a lot of job so we have our job cut out for the day uh, you know for a data analysis right so let's start doing data analytics and first we'll start doing imputation and data wrangling or we can say data cleaning uh, right and also you can see that uh, sex is male and female we cannot do analysis here all, as well because what we need to do for machine learning, uh, we need, uh, you know, integer values because we have x axis and y axis that takes only integer values. So we'll try and convert that and see different techniques today of uh, uh, machine learning, right? Okay. All right. So let's apply data wrangling. Okay. I will call df dot is null. I need all the columns which are null so df dot is null is not is null is not going to uh, you know it is going to return it is going to return the null row result in boolean format right so it is the result in boolean format true or false true or false so and this is not actually required because this is not going to solve any purpose uh, let us start marking it so i will mark it 
right here I'll choose markdown and let me mark it as data mm, or what do I mark it as data data wrangling right so let me mark it as data wrangling here well, all right so first I will get df dot is null. I want to get dot sum of all the null values now I can see passenger class has zero age has 263 null values out of 1309 cabin has too many we cannot do anything we have to drop it cannot do anything with body and boat we have to drop these values and then do our data analytics right and let's start doing it okay let me print this heat map again I'll show you some other interesting features of data visualizations using the heat map for example now I don't require okay I don't require these values from here so I will say I want only um, the X take labels and I do not want is equal to uh, so let's say x tick uh, labels yeah x tick labels are these labels I want them so I'll say x tick labels are true and y tick labels are false so I do not require y tick labels here so y tick we have got rid of y tick and now we have only x tick labels and we can also um, apply a C map right pattern for example if I apply word s that's my favorite V I R I D I S it's my favorite okay now you can see it looks like as that of it looks like uh, thermal imaging right but you can clearly see null values in the rows here Okay, they are visible. Visualization gives that amount of, uh, you know, it gives you that satisfaction, right? And once you clear it, you see everything is black and then you finally achieve satisfaction. So I'll, I'm going to show you a few more right here. For example, we have uh, add CMAP for color coding. Right, and we have one, two, three, four. Perhaps I remember only four or you can Google some other. Right, so for example, I have plasma, P L A S M A. So I have plasma. Right, plasma looks also good, but it's not one of my favorites. Plasma is there, and V I R I D I S. Verdes is there, the, as I have already shown. Inferno is there, I N I N F E R E N. Inferno. Maybe I've spelled it wrong. Yeah, I as I said, I N F E R N O. Maybe I N F E R N O is there? There's no E. Fine, let's try and run. Okay, we have it black and let's say about yellowish. It's also good. It also looks. It also resembles as that of the thermal image. Uh, and is there anything? Magma is also there. Right, so I remember only few of them, right? Yeah, magma is also there, and mm, what else? Magma is there. Civides, C I V I D I S, Civides is also there, and yeah, all the techniques and all the color combinations or color codings are here, but I will apply only my favorite one. Which is my favorite one? It is V-R-I-D-I-S. Now let's apply over this and you can see because it resembles the heat map. So that's why I love it now. So apart from it, uh, let us see because age has some values. We can do something with age here. Let us first see uh, cborn.plot. Which plot? So let's call box plot. I will call box plot and box plot takes two parameters, x axis and y axis so on x axis I want passenger class and on y axis I want age so I want age and data is going to be or data is going to come from df data so so box plot okay b o x p l o t p class 
comma y is equal to h data is equal to and df what is wrong invalid syntax okay i don't find x is equal to p class so i wrote it absolutely right so let me see box plot x is equal to p class comma y is equal to okay no comma here data is equal to df now we can see here uh, that if you do differentiate between uh, the passenger class and the age right you can see uh, that uh, P class uh, you know and the age 50 above or, or, or almost up to the age of 50 were traveling in first class and almost uh, from uh, infant to uh, let's say about 40 or maybe in mid 40s or late 40s were traveling in second class and in economy class we had more younger people maximum at the age of you can see if you draw a line here it's going to be almost 35 36 year old we're traveling in uh, the economy class right okay but that's not our job that's not what we want we want to apply data wrangling techniques we want to apply um, data cleaning techniques right okay let me see what we can do with this data all right Mm, and messy data can be drawn so the only one way so I will document it again here so I'll say markdown so I'll say one way is to drop column with the missing values right uh, or we can put some dummy data into it and that process is called as I-M-P-U-T-A-T-I-O-N so now uh, putting and replacing uh, the data with as that of the dummy data whenever you have data that has to be replaced with the uh, and uh, you know you can see it here age has to be replaced with some dummy data right here and this process once we in, once we apply uh, you know any uh, method for filling this uh, empty data right here right that process is basically known as imputation imputation can be different ways fill any drop any we can we can apply many techniques here but the technique itself is known as imputation right and the number second thing that we can do is uh, Mm, let us see what we can do cabin cabin is there so cabin is messing there's nothing absolutely nothing so we'll have to drop cabin so i will say data frame dot drop cabin and all the rows axes is equal to <coughs> one means uh, rows <coughs> and in place is equal to true okay x is equal to one three take two takes capital T all right if I print DF uh, or if I print the heat map again right so let me print on the heat map again so I'll just delete this because it, it is not required mm, okay now you can see that uh, that's dropped okay fair has some null values as well um, but yeah p class is uh, basically um, cabin is dropped so let me apply few more let me drop few more things let me drop one two and uh, three right so now we have okay body is messed up a uh, boat is messed up and home desk so let's say I want to drop body, I want to drop boat, and I want to drop home dot dust. We cannot do data analytics with everything or we cannot do machine learning with everything. 
you'll have to decide the columns that you require to do machine learning in data or, or the columns that you uh, you know require to do machine learning and data analysis techniques right with right so you recognize that these are not the columns that i will use to apply my machine learning techniques or data science techniques yeah because there's no data null values okay if for 30 20 percent we can handle it uh, but not we cannot handle all the things so i'll just include it mm, okay let me try the heat map again we're getting any we're getting this sort of error right here mm, in place uh, home dot rest boat and body all three are deleted uh, home dust is not found okay it is host dust okay i'll have to delete it and i'll take it separate because the first two are dropped and only one is not dropped that is home dot dest okay now home dot dest is also dropped now let me take a look at the heat map now once again if i take a look at heat map now we have only age right also now how do you handle this right uh, now we need to handle age all right uh, let us see first df dot is null i want to get all the null columns and i want to get the sum of null columns yeah, we can say age has 263. Fair can be good or we can do something with this as well and embarked has two null values. So let's carry on with this. Okay. Uh, so far, we have understood uh, what we need to do is now um, let's apply imputation here. So let's say I impute. Okay. I am P-U-T-A-T-I-O-N. Let's apply imputation here and we will apply imputation by taking help from median. Right? If you do not know what median is, I'll give you the idea of uh, median. Median means, right? Uh, so the definition, if you are uh, you know, asking for the definition of median is basically separating the higher half of the data and lower half of the data and taking the middle part of the data for example if i have one comma let's say about three comma three comma six comma seven comma nine now what is the median of this for example higher part of the data is one three three that is the higher part of the data and lower part of the data is you know you can easily see or we can add one more thing here one three three six seven eight and nine so one three three is the upper half and you can see seven eight and nine right so seven eight and nine are the lower half so this is the higher half of the data sample and this is the lower half of the data sample right and uh, now from the lower half in simple terms it may be thought as of the middle value of the data set now it's thought of the middle value of the data set which is six now if if i ask you what is the median of this you will say the median of this is six now that is how we apply median um, uh, in data uh, you know sciences right as a mean of imputation right and if you know the mathematics of it right so we have to take out mean if you know how to take mean out right so if i say uh you know mean of four or mean of three or only we are all but this is the most valid point uh, to understand what median does so this is uh median is a technique it's a data imputation technique that can be applied over null values one uh, it, it's it can be applied uh you know one uh, in using machine learning if you are learning machine learning or if you are doing machine learning or applying any machine learning technique over a data set uh, this can be applied because for both data analysis and data sciences and machine learning what is what is the minimum requirement the minimum requirement is to have a clean data set or clean data object right so we are preparing that and let's apply now we know that we have all the null values which have been already converted from na to nan so i will say df dot fill any I want to fill any and I want to get the age column right and uh, I want to get uh, I want to apply it on age right and what do you want to replace it with 
you are applying it on df uh, you can say age uh, and the second parameter is replacement replacement will be uh, df multi-dimensional array I will be applying age uh, so fill any means fill any in age with this age but what in age dot median take you know it takes place it's just like assignment from right hand side to left hand side first df dot age dot median you are going to take the median of df, uh, df dot age okay let me see what is the median of df dot if I do this df dot median uh, right or we can say df age dot median so that is 28 point uh, zero so you're getting a value the median value and now I say this value right has to be df dot median has to be uh, you know age has to go inside age wherever you find any any null functions and it also returns as you are aware that it returns a new and a fresh data set I will say in place is equal to true so that it uh, whenever it returns a new data frame it replaces the old data frame right now if I run uh, let's say about let's see the null sum all right you can see now the age has zero null values we still have here an embarked with some null values uh, which in this, our case is not a problem so let's see the heat map okay let me draw this heat map once again to see what we can do right here yeah now you can see this is what we have and this is what we had this is previous and this is right so you have to drop what is not required right things that uh, we still have many different things that are not required for data analytics right uh, so you can easily drop drop them and and to apply logistic regression or to apply any sort of regression uh, right you cannot have uh, integer values that's why I tell my students you know I have students uh, that learn uh, you know or the, or the students who are learning uh, web application development you know whenever they apply or design any sort of form taking a male and female values so what do they do they take male in the database and female in in the database right so I often ask them not to do this right I said we have to only take values we have to make sure that we take values in the database right so male is one and female is zero so they at times you cannot answer some kid who has just started right so it may require you know good amount of knowledge prior to this so that you understand why female is zero and why male is one right you don't want to fill database with your database with strings so that there is no uh, data analysis uh, scope right? you need to leave a uh, scope for data analytics right and the same is the case here what they have done um, we cannot apply any analytics on gender here why uh, because what they have done if I show you once again uh, let me show you df dot head and print two values uh, age is male and female so let's say about I want to apply logistic regression over here will I be able no I cannot apply it right and for that we have to understand dummies in pandas so I'll again mark down this right and these are dummies what are dummies in pandas we cannot do regression on string values and we have to convert dummy values first right so what I do you'll understand practically more better if I teach you practically you will get it in a very good manner so get dummies I want to get dummies on data frame and the column is sex get dummies on sex column now you can see the dummies uh, you can see once I call get dummies function that's why I love pandas right uh, this is the magic of pandas so if you see male is one and female is uh, zero right so you have already called for the dummies and the dummies are being returned so this is serial number right 
so don't worry about the serial number right but yeah once you say get dummies uh, male is one and female uh, female is one and me oh, it's, it's okay it's actually uh, what it has done it has given one to female and zero to male which is again not good we have to still replace it right so once I call get dummies and let me go ahead and do this drop one either zero or one I want either zero I or I want either one uh, right so let us say now for example uh, if I drop if I drop one column entirely right you get me right if I drop one column entirely so that means if it is zero it's female if it is one it's male if it is zero it's female and if it is one you know you can see uh, you know now at uh, no it's not basically male and female like this so what 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 get dummies has done you can see serial number zero female is one and male is zero now you can see this right here yeah you can see all right uh, so the uh, sex is female here yeah it's absolutely good what it has done you can see uh, you know at row number zero female is true and male is false so get dummies has converted it right so female why because it's true because female is there and male is zero right because it's not male but at row number one male is one and female is zero right because it's there right what we can do if even if I don't want it I mean I don't want three column even if I drop one column entirely yet I can say row number zero has m um, female row number one has male row number two has male right so we can do this that way also right so let me apply this technique so I will say um, six is equal to pd dot get dummies pd dot pandas dot get and uh, dummies uh, what was get dummies it was the syntax was get underscore dummies and I want to get dummies on data frame df which is data frame and I want to get dummies on sex data frame uh, right and I want to drop let's say drop underscore first is equal to true so now we have the sex here All right so let us say sex yeah now we know on uh, on the on first line right or row number one we have female and row number one uh, we have male and here we have male here we have female here we have male so it is good enough to say we, we do not require that's what you have to decide as a data scientist what is required and what is not so reduce as much data as you can so that you can then follow it with a linear regression technique or a logistic regression techniques of machine learning right if it is required still we have been able to do quite a bit of data analytics also right now uh, all right so this part is done we have been able to drop it so if I do six dot head two okay you can see H E A D fine so we can see this is being applied okay so now we have let's say D F dot head two now since it's in the sex so we still have sex you know right here male and female because we have not replaced but now what we have done we have got dummies and dummies are already in the sex variable right <coughs> sorry okay uh, now let us say I want to apply dummies right how do you apply dummies now right so we have to concatenate so let me show you okay let's get dummies a few more things Mm, okay we will get dummies of few more things okay uh, let me see embarked is also string right so embarked means for example if I say get 20 what embarked means is s is sort uh, I uh, maybe uh, s is Southampton because it is USA's data C means California and I have what else Q also Q you can find Q here or as well uh, let me do 60 
all right so you have all three here so s means or uh, you should remember this now all right so s means uh, southampton uh, q means queenstown and s means southampton s as in southampton c as in california and uh, q as in queenstown can we get dummies of this as well so i will say e m b a r k e d embarked is equal to p d dot get dummies what time is it uh, i suppose all right so we'll get uh, dummies on embarked because as i've already explained uh, we require dummies for them as well right so embarked is equal to pd uh, dot get dummies on data frame and take out from the data frame um, embarked right and after you take out from embarked and drop first because we require only one we don't require two dummies right as you already know here um, and drop first is equal to true okay pd dot get underscore dummies is the correct syntax yeah now we have embarked so we can say uh, embarked dot head you can see only one so draw first is there okay and we should get yeah we know that we know a zero is for uh, uh, you know Queenstown and s1 means uh, the first passenger is from uh, we can say uh, South Southampton right here he's from Southampton and the second one then we have one is again from Southampton right so if I do get the me okay get df dot head 10 and we have C here California right right so uh, that means if someone is uh, from uh, Queensland and another one is from Southampton right so if you are having both zeros here so you can see one because he's from Southampton zero he's not from Queensland right and now if we have someone from uh, let's say about uh, uh, the Queenstown or say California we dropped first that is California if someone is from California then we'll have two zeros here is that understood if there is zero on Q and there is zero on S means that it is from C means that uh, the person is from uh, California right so that's why two can also do justice right so we have to reduce the data as as long as possible I repeat Q means Queenstown he is not from Queenstown S means or Southampton or we can say Southampton yeah he's from Southampton what if uh, a person is from uh, California he gets two zeros here right so if there are two zeros that means the person is from uh, California is that understood right so we can see if both the values are zero then the passenger is from C California right okay <coughs> okay now embarked is done now uh, we get both the values and do the same with passenger we have do we have anything here class maybe yeah we have passenger class here we cannot get dummies uh, because we have to drop it so let's say p class is equal to i will just call pd dot get dummies Mm, but this time I'll get dummies on P class and I will drop first okay all right so I will drop first uh, P class if I do not drop if I only get dummies uh, let's see what dummies do we get okay let's see P C L A S S P class uh, all right you can see one uh, one two and three what if I drop one that means uh, the first uh, passenger passenger number zero was from first class as you can see here passenger number two was from first class three was from first class four was from first class and uh, here this passenger is from economy class third class this passenger is from third class why do I drop one <coughs> right why do I drop one then right uh, because we may drop let's say about <coughs> If there are three zeros, let's say if I drop one, let me drop first so you'll come to know. 
um, why do I drop it so let's say drop first true and now we have only two right you can see passenger number two and three that means there are two zeros the passenger is neither from uh, second class nor from third class that means the passenger has two zeros the passenger is from first class two zeros passenger from first class two zeros passenger from first class right again this one is right here that means the passenger is from third class so we can also do it like this right and uh, let us do one thing now concatenate so we can say data frame df we can print data frame and we can see sex still has female passenger class still has this and embark still has s right so we have to do df dot uh, uh you know or we can say df is equal to pandas dot concatenate you have to concatenate the values from the data frame it takes three parameters first is the data frame old data frame and this is the new data frame when we in place true and then it will be replaced and I have to replace sex column here and I have to replace embarked and uh, third one is P class over X is one right so now you can see that data frame no okay df is called to pd dot concat so pd dot concat is uh, basically it is a multi-dimensional array it's an array mm -hmm. we need to take these three as array uh, right and uh, third one we, it takes two parameters first one is this array what you need to concat and x is equal to uh, one right uh, and uh, all three things are here uh, df uh, basically you have to get six now i basically let's see the first thing is in six i will concatenate this six uh, the second is embarked and the third is p class right so i have written it right p class yeah let's do that okay concat is not a module pd dot concat concatenation happens with data frame right so why is module pandas has no attribute concat why mm -hmm. pd dot concat so c o n c a t c let me type c a t concat it takes first parameter um, which is uh, the data frame and we apply six to the old data frame and we apply new embarked and we apply new on the axis one so why doesn't take yeah it has executed i don't know why right i don't know what was the error now if i run df you assigned new things now you can see the new data frame looks like this all right uh, so embarked is done and uh, no embarked is yeah we have we have but we haven't dropped uh, these values right so we have to drop them all right so now we have new values you can see we have new values for male it's not a male it's is female and we have new values and this uh, q uh, and s is for embarked whether he's from queensland or for southampton if he's not from these two places he's from um, california right and two and three the passenger is neither from second class nor from third class now the passenger is from uh, let's say about uh, first class right so this also understood mm, df dot had one and let me finish it with the uh, dropping so i'll say df dot drop now i have to drop all the columns that i have created new columns from sex embarked name is not also required ticket is not required p class is not required so we have already we have replaced sex and we have replaced embarked and name is not required for machine learning ticket is not required and passenger class is replaced with 
zeros and one so I'll drop it and uh, drop takes one more thing axis one you can say axis is equal to rows directly and it is going to work still right you can see mm, okay uh, rows or maybe axis is equal to r o w s so rows will work no it doesn't work maybe r o w s r o w s rows now rows is not defined so let's say x is equal to one yeah and we'll also keep i n p l a c e in place is equal to true so that uh, the data frame is replaced so now if i do data frame okay it's already done so if i do this now df dot head four let us see what we get yeah we have now a very good data frame that we can do analysis and machine learning of right passenger number zero has survived his age is 29 no siblings perhaps maybe something fair is this is he a male yes right because female he's not a female female gets zero so that means it's a male uh, is he from queensland no right is he from southampton no that means he's from california is was he in second class no was he in third class no that means he was in first class right so i hope i hope you have understood it right now basically this is the data as a data scientist you have made your data ready for implementing any kind of regression like logistic regression is there linear regression is there right wherein we can train the model on the x-axis and y-axis right and this part of data analysis for the data set and data wrangling is absolutely ready you have been successfully able to apply imputation you have been successfully able to apply all the data wrangling techniques easiest easiest data wrangling techniques and we'll see in the next class what we can do for till then uh, you know tell me if i can help you if you have understood the lecture and see you in the next class bye bye take care